Have you ever tried to picture the universe as a giant sheet? Sounds bizarre, right? Well, let's dive into how this simple analogy can help us grasp the mind-bending concepts of the theory of relativity. Imagine a vast, stretchy rubber sheet. Now place a heavy bowling ball in the middle. Notice how the sheet curves under the weight. This, my friends, is similar to how general relativity describes gravity. It's not a mysterious force pulling objects together, but the bending of space and time itself by mass and energy. When we talk about space-time, we're referring to a four-dimensional continuum. Yes, four dimensions. This includes our usual three dimensions in space and one in time, all woven together. It's not easy to visualize because we're inherently three-dimensional beings, but imagine if time itself curved with the space we live in. Now back to our rubber sheet. If you roll a smaller marble near the bowling ball, it'll spiral towards it. This isn't because the ball pulls it directly, but because the marble follows the curve of the sheet. This is how planets orbit stars, and moons orbit planets, not through a pulling force, but by following the natural curvature of space-time. However, let's not get too carried away. As useful as this analogy is, it has its limits. In reality, the curvature of space-time isn't just a dip on a flat surface, it's a dynamic four-dimensional bending that's challenging to depict accurately on any sheet. And unlike a physical sheet, space-time isn't something you can tug or tear. It's an abstract mathematical model that helps us describe the vast complexities of the universe. Here's another twist. Space-time isn't just curved around mass, it's also expanding like a balloon inflating. This expansion means that the universe doesn't have a center. Everything is moving away from everything else, which changes our understanding of how the cosmos is structured. To truly appreciate these concepts, we need to think beyond the rubber sheet to models like embedding diagrams or even hyperbolic spaces, which can often resemble a saddle shape. These models help us visualize more accurately how space-time might behave on cosmic scales. So next time you look up at the night sky, remember, you're not just staring into space. You're peering into a continuously morphing, dynamic fabric of space and time, influenced by everything in the universe from the smallest particles to the largest clusters of galaxies. And the rubber sheet? It's just our way of making sense of this beautiful, complex universe in human terms. In our journey to understand the universe, one fundamental question keeps emerging. What is space? Let's dive into the various ways space is described across different scientific theories. In classical physics, space is perceived as absolute, a fixed, unchanging backdrop where the events of the universe unfold. Picture it as a three-dimensional, infinite stage where objects move and interact, with time flowing uniformly regardless of matter or energy. Then came Albert Einstein's special relativity, which introduced a revolutionary concept, the space-time continuum. Here, space isn't separate from time, but interwoven with it. Imagine space and time as a single, four-dimensional entity, where distances and intervals are relative depending on the observer's motion. Einstein didn't stop there. His general theory of relativity further transformed our understanding, describing space as dynamic and curved by mass and energy. No longer a static stage, space-time is now flexible with its geometry determined by the distribution of matter. This curvature explains gravity, where objects follow curved paths known as geodesics. But what about the microscopic realm? Quantum mechanics offers a different perspective, at extremely small scales, space isn't smooth but exhibits quantum fluctuations. Here, space becomes intertwined with the probabilistic nature of particles, described by wave functions and the uncertainty principle. Quantum field theory takes this further, describing space in terms of fields. Imagine space filled with various fields like the electromagnetic field or the Higgs field, where particles are localized vibrations of these fields. Advanced theories like string theory propose even more complex descriptions. Space might have more than three spatial dimensions, up to 10 or 11 in some models. These extra dimensions are compactified at incredibly small scales beyond our current observational capabilities. Finally, in cosmology, space is part of an evolving universe. The universe is expanding, meaning the distances between distant galaxies are increasing over time. This expansion isn't just about galaxies moving through space, but space itself stretching. So whether we're looking at space as an absolute stage, a dynamic continuum, or a quantum field, 
Each perspective offers a unique lens through which we can explore the cosmos. Understanding space is key to unlocking the universe's mysteries. Stay with us as we continue to unravel these fascinating concepts in our next segment on the core concepts of general relativity. In our journey to understand the universe, the nature of space itself is a fundamental puzzle. Let's explore four key characteristics that define space and shape our understanding of the cosmos. First, dimensionality. Space is inherently multidimensional. In our everyday experience and in classical physics, space is described as three-dimensional comprising length, width, and height. This three-dimensional space can be extended to four dimensions when considering space-time in the context of relativity, which includes time as the fourth dimension. In some advanced theories, like string theory, space might have additional dimensions beyond the three we directly perceive, though these extra dimensions are often compactified or hidden at extremely small scales. Next, curvature. In the framework of general relativity, space, or more accurately, space-time, is not flat, but can be curved by the presence of mass and energy. This curvature is what we perceive as gravity. Massive objects like stars and planets distort the fabric of space-time around them, causing paths of objects and light to bend. The curvature of space-time is described mathematically by Einstein's field equations, and it can vary from place to place depending on the distribution of mass and energy. Then, expansiveness. Space is vast and largely empty. On cosmic scales, the distances between objects like stars and galaxies are immense. Space itself is expanding, a discovery attributed to observations of distant galaxies moving away from us, indicating that the universe is growing in size. This expansion is described by the metric expansion of space, which means that space itself is stretching increasing the distances between distant objects over time. This concept is central to modern cosmology and the Big Bang theory. Finally, quantum fluctuations. At extremely small scales, space is not smooth and continuous, but exhibits quantum fluctuations. According to quantum mechanics, the vacuum of space is teeming with temporary particles and energy fluctuations, even in the absence of matter. These quantum effects become significant at scales around the Planck length, approximately 1 to 660, 10, 35 meters, where the classical description of space breaks down. This aspect of space is studied in quantum field theory, which describes particles as excitations of underlying fields that permeate space. These characteristics, dimensionality, curvature, expansiveness, and quantum fluctuations, paint a complex and fascinating picture of space. Each perspective, from the macroscopic to the microscopic, helps us unravel the mysteries of the universe. Now let's move on to explore the core concepts of general relativity. Now that we've grasped the basics of space-time as a dynamic four-dimensional fabric, let's delve deeper into the core concepts of general relativity, a theory formulated by none other than Albert Einstein in 1915. This groundbreaking framework fundamentally reshaped our understanding of how gravity works. First up, the space-time continuum. General relativity introduces space and time as a single unified entity called space-time. Imagine it as a vast four-dimensional landscape where objects move and their paths are influenced by the curvature of this space-time fabric. Speaking of curvature, mass and energy cause space-time to bend. Picture a massive object like a planet or a star distorting the space-time around it. This curvature is what we experience as gravity, replacing the Newtonian idea of a force acting at a distance. Objects follow paths called geodesics, the straightest possible routes in this curved space-time. All this is governed by Einstein's field equations. These ten interrelated differential equations describe how matter and energy influence the curvature of space-time. Solving these equations gives us the geometry of space-time and how it evolves over time. In this framework, objects in free fall move along these geodesics. Astronauts in orbit experience weightlessness because they are following the curvature of space-time around Earth, essentially in a constant state of free fall. One of the fundamental principles of general relativity is the equivalence principle. Locally, the effects of gravity are indistinguishable from acceleration. This means that an observer in a closed room cannot tell if they are experiencing gravity or accelerating in a zero-gravity environment. Now let's explore some fascinating implications and predictions of general relativity. 
Gravitational time dilation tells us that time runs more slowly in stronger gravitational fields. A clock closer to a massive object ticks more slowly compared to one farther away. This effect is critical for the accurate functioning of GPS satellites. Gravitational lensing occurs when massive objects bend the path of light, much like a lens. This phenomenon has been observed in numerous astronomical events, creating multiple or distorted images of distant stars or galaxies. General relativity also predicts the existence of black holes, regions where the gravitational pull is so intense that not even light can escape. The boundary of a black hole is called the event horizon, beyond which the curvature of space-time becomes infinite, leading to a singularity where the known laws of physics break down. On a cosmological scale, general relativity provides the framework for understanding the expanding universe. This was confirmed by Edwin Hubble's observations in the 1920s and supports models of the Big Bang and the universe's evolution. Lastly, general relativity predicts gravitational waves, ripples in space-time emitted by accelerating masses. First directly detected by LIGO in 2015, these waves confirm yet another key prediction of Einstein's theory.